Hi, this is Jamie back with Price Right Sales. Today's video is on a common question that we get, and that is how to connect a base blocker or crossover. So we're gonna go over that and kind of give you a basic rundown on what applications they are commonly used in. In front of me, I have a few products. On the left here, I have a mid-range speaker made by DS18. On my right, I have a bullet style pro tweeter, also known as a super tweeter. Um, that is also made by DS18. I also have in front of me a base blocker and then a two way crossover. I'm gonna start out explaining this base blocker. A lot of people buy these because they might know they need them, but they're like, well, where does it go? So this always goes on the positive speaker wire between the speaker wire and the positive terminal on the speaker or tweeter. So these come in a variety of sizes. They are going to control the frequencies that are allowed to get to the speaker or tweeter. So for instance, this one is designed for a five and a quarter to six and a half inch speaker, and it's gonna block out any frequencies below, let's say 150 Hertz on this one. Other brands can vary a little bit. Um, so it's not gonna let any of the low frequencies below 150 Hertz, which produce more of the bass, get to the speaker or tweeter. In this application, we're gonna to refer to the mid-range. So on a mid-range speaker, a lot of people will buy these because they're huge. They'll handle, they say they handle a lot of power. They think they're gonna be louder. They hook it up to their standard radio in their vehicle, which is producing the whole full range of frequency, and they blow them right away because the speaker is not designed to do so. So that is when a bass blocker is installed, and this would go, like I said, on the positive terminal between the positive terminal and the positive speaker wire, and it's gonna block out those low frequencies. So you can cr crank that system up, and it's gonna keep this speaker from moving in and out a lot because of the low frequencies, which the, you can tell by the surround on this speaker, it is not designed to have that high excursion. You will also see on the Pro Tweeter that there is also already installed a base blocker. This is really common on pro tweeters because the manufacturer wants to prevent uh, people from blowing the tweeters by already installing this because a lot of people don't know it's necessary. So very similar um, thing. It's just depending on what, you, what the application is on what size of base blocker that's gonna be used. You will then see a, I have in front of me a two-way crossover. This is also used for the same type of thing. Oftentimes though, it's not gonna block out any low frequencies, but it's gonna control the frequencies going to your components, which when I refer to components, I'm referring to a tweeter and a speaker. You will also see some pre-made component speaker systems. This will also come already with a crossover that's controlling, controlling these separately. On a two-way crossover, you're gonna have your incoming speaker line from your vehicle, um, which I already installed here to kind of give you an idea. Then you're gonna have your woofer output, which this is gonna be referred to as the woofer or mid-range. And then you're gonna have your tweeter. So you would have your incoming signal from your, your amplifier or radio on the main speaker wire, and it's gonna separate, and separate it into two. So one of these wires is gonna connect into the mid-range speaker terminal. One of them is gonna connect into the pro tweeter, um, this would, the positive wire, like I said, would get connected to the base blocker. The negative would just go straight to the negative terminal on the tweeter. And then this product is going to control the frequencies. So anything, let's say from 40 hertz up to 500 hertz is going to play through the speaker. And any of the higher frequencies, the more vocal frequencies, um, are going to go to the tweeter. So this does a great job at controlling that. It's gonna make the system sound a lot better uh, because you don't have um, frequencies that are not supposed to go to the certain components doing so. This is very basic um, for a lot of you that have installed car audio for a long time. This is all gonna be information you know. This video is more basic, uh, meant for someone that's more entry level into the car audio industry or have never done anything with component speakers. So hopefully this video has helped you uh, give you a basic understanding on where to use the product and why. And if you have any questions, feel free to visit our website, PriceRightSales.com. There is a contact us page, or you can give us a call at 1-888-396-8676, and we'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.